Hey, it's Matt here from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how many ad groups should be in a campaign and really how should we be segmenting out our campaigns. And now this is a very debated topic in the actual ad group community. And this is really due to the fact that there's a lot of different strategies you can use in Google Ads. Like you can have an e-commerce strategy, you can have a service-based business strategy, and they're both very different and they require very different settings and structures in the account. That being said, there are some overlap in them. I'm not going to really be diving into the actual e-commerce side of this. I don't really know all that much about it compared to a lot of people there's a lot of smart people in e-commerce but i specialize in service-based businesses i'm very good at it i have run a lot of very successful accounts with very high conversion rates so i know what i'm talking about when it comes to actually segmenting out actual ad groups how many they should actually have in a campaign to make sure it's successful now how many ad groups should we actually have in a campaign and really as long as the ad group is relevant to your campaign you can have as many as you want so say we have a pool installation campaign like you see here as long as it's regarding pool installation and you don't make that much of a difference between vinyl pools and fiberglass pools in terms of profit and cost you can put as many as you want you could have pool contractors pool builders pool companies near me or pool installation companies i would put that instead uh, just because we really want to segment this into installation if you put like pool companies that might also mean like pool products and that might be a little bit too much of an overlap if you were going to sell pool products so let's say like water softeners um, chlorine you know like pool noodles stuff like that i would make its own category because those services are very different and really at that point you're selling a product not a service like pool installation relation. So if you wanted to do pool products, I would build out its own campaign because it's a very separate service slash product uh, compared to pool installation. Uh, that being said, if you wanted to have a whole bunch of, you know, pool installation ad groups like pool builders, pool contractors, all of these things, fiberglass pools, you could have that all under one campaign. It would make complete sense and it's easy to go into, optimize them, look at which ad groups are performing better, which ones are performing worse, and easily optimize this. The issue a lot of accounts run into is that they combine all of these ad groups into one campaign and then you're having different products which have different profit margins, different revenues, different costs associated with them. And it's really hard to optimize because like, hey, maybe uh, pool products sell a lot more, but they're not very high on the profit margin and we'd rather spend more of our budget towards the actual pool installation part where we make a lot more money. And for a lot of companies, they have one or two products or services that they specialize in and they make the most amount of money off of. And they would much rather put most of their advertising budget behind those products because they're more profitable for them at the end of the day. So that's what I like to do in terms of actual ad groups. You can have really as many as you want. Don't go over the top with it. I would say don't have like hundreds of ad groups because then it's going to be a real pain to actually look through. Uh, but if you have a few dozen ad groups, that's absolutely fine. I don't see anything wrong with it. As long as it's relevant to the campaign, it still makes sense. Uh, if it starts getting on the border of like this really doesn't actually belong in here or this is kind of on the border of it and you got to use your own gut here sometimes, uh, I would say segment it out into its own campaign, especially if it's a, a big change like fencing uh, landscaping these these aren't really pool installation these are their own separate things and of course you could sell pool installation with landscaping or with fencing but we really want our ads to be targeted towards pool installation we don't want our ads to be pool installation plus fencing if someone's searching for pool installation we want our ad to say pool installation right and this comes out with segmenting and theming everything properly we want to target exactly what the person's problem is we don't want to just give them a very vague generic ad and if you do they're not going to be likely to click on it you're going to have a poor quality score that's going to lead to higher cost per clicks this is going to lead to a lot less account success just because you're too vague with your actual message so those are my recommendations for the amount of ad groups in an actual campaign. As long as the actual keywords and ads are relevant to the actual campaign, you can have as many ad groups as you want. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about Google Ads, ad groups, campaigns, leave them down in the comments section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.